and you kind of talked about this before mental toughness how do you <laughs> and <laughs> this is another one that applies to me where certain and you'll see it even in, in high level certain people it's almost like they've navigated their way through life and to into success not really needing that much mental toughness because maybe they had some special attribute that allowed them to be successful early on and kept them success you know like these like yeah. athletes for example athletes that are really gifted talented. Yeah. yeah and you know and you you'd kind of notice it when things get rough for them that's when they break or or whatever and um so I mean, I'm not saying I'm like a superior athlete or nothing like that, but it just so happens in a lot of ways, or some ways, whatever. Um, I managed to avoid developing mental toughness <laughs> <laughs> up until about maybe two years ago, maybe. Um, but, and I, I, of course, I know how mine came about. I think, I mean, the, the main reason was just through maturity and seeing it around me, but... Um, Let's say I didn't, I wasn't surrounded by people who are mentally tough and I didn't see the value firsthand. How do, how do you just develop mental toughness? Again, this is one of those things that people ask, and this was a big question from online. You know, tons and tons of people asked, how do you develop mental toughness? How do you become more mentally tough? And, you know, you and I did that video on it where it's like, if you want to be more mentally tough, then be tougher, <laughs> you, you know, yeah. and, and you get these people that are out there that sell courses on developing mental toughness and, you know, they're either going to bring you into a room and get you into some spiritual state and say, okay, listen, you've got to visualize the mind of the wolf <laughs> and you are going to See through the eyes of the wolf. What does a wolf do? The wolf does not back down. He leads the pack. And they're you know, like all this stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't, you know, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not, not my gig right there. Yeah. Because, because the cool thing about mental toughness is, is it's just a simple choice that you have to make. Are you going to go through this thing that's hard, this thing that's tough, this thing that sucks? Are you going to suffer through it or are you going to quit? It's really easy. You, you just go, okay, I'm going to suffer through it. I'm going to deal with it. Then you're mentally tough. Done. Next question. Let's move on to something more important. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that easy. But doesn't that, and maybe I'm wrong here, but that sounds like the answer coming from someone who has, doesn't sound crazy, but has the luxury of being mentally tough. So like when you're, do you, have, do you ever remember a time that you were not, that you were straight up mentally weak? Do you ever remember any time? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, 1996 I was no I'm just kidding um you know like I'll tell you people talk about in seal training they say oh everybody everybody wants to quit at some point during seal training and I, I literally not at all never for one second did I think oh I'm, I'm gonna quit I don't want to do this anymore not even yeah. a chance who, who, that's ridiculous uh, um, who says that? Seals say it. Like other seals say, say it. it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. You know, everyone thinks about quitting sometimes. I'm like, right. no. And I got plenty of bros in the SEAL teams that never thought about Me quitting. Too. Yeah, two and of my best friends. Are, yeah. They said, no, you don't even think about no, quitting. No, you don't even think about quitting. Yeah. And so those guys are mentally tough. And okay, so if, you, if you're if you not mentally tough, if you view yourself as mentally weak, then you got to do things, I guess, push yourself to that threshold. Right. And how do you push yourself to that threshold? You do mentally challenging things you do physically challenging things and you push through them yeah and then and then that might develop your mental toughness more right yeah you'd think that like any exercise getting the reps you need to get those reps of hard stuff mentally like, like that seminar analogy you just made that's not that <laughs> doesn't seem like that would ever work no matter if you you're visualizing yourself as a wolf or, or whatever <laughs> it you're not even getting the reps that's yeah. like saying, oh, yeah. I've never played basketball ever. I've yeah. never even held a basketball. But guess what? We're going to get you. We're going to prepare you to be good at basketball. Close your eyes, visualize playing basketball. And that's your reps. Yeah. So it probably won't work. So the back to the fear thing. We're going to get hammered because all these people are going to be like, no, if you visualize, you get better. At, that's true. Like, you know, they do Not all kinds of experience. But, but mental it, toughness, yeah, you're right. You might be there, right. That's more of emotions thing. Right. I think when right. you visualize, you know, winning and, and reacting and stuff. So, um, mental toughness, maybe. But it, it won't substitute reps. Like yeah. if you're scared of something, for example, that should be like a flag. 
or an indicator that, okay, I got to let's get some reps right here. I'm scared of this. You're right. And that being said, like you're talking about your buddy, your SEAL buddies that never were going to quit, right? And I was definitely never going to quit. Well, I, I didn't have any reps going into that of, you know, mentally challenging things or whatever. I mean, well, you I, did though. In in life, in life, that, but and this is this is why I say that I'm not. I'm, I obviously wasn't in the SEAL teams at all. You might find that hard to believe. <laughs> um, no, these guys both played football, D1 school. Um, they both. One of them's father was a Navy SEAL, and just grow, growing up a certain way with a certain yeah. like environment does make you tough. Like, let's say your yeah, father just you're, not you're letting right. you quit. Like, yeah. you play even Pop Warner football. And your dad's like, no, you, you can't quit. Like, oh, I want to quit. This is lame. I'm not good. Or it's, I'm so just so tired. I'm hurt or whatever. Yep. And your dad's saying, no, you don't quit. And it just is in your mind. And, oh, you and just this is the, don't and quit. this is the crazy thing about the SEAL teams is there's kids w- that grew up in, you know, some rich town with very wealthy parents and went to an Ivy League school. And they're tough. And there's kids that grew up with no dad and, you know, a single mom and they're they're tough as hell. So that theory is almost debunked because where does that mental toughness come from? I I think it comes from a bunch of different places. It just is interpreted and kind of internalized in the same way. And I'll tell you where I think it comes from. I think it comes from when a a human being decides that they're going to achieve their goals and they're going to go through whatever obstacles then that's where mental toughness comes from. It is a decision that human beings make to make it happen. Yeah, 